Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Steve and you're watching Ram Beast Projects and this is a family automotive channel. Today I'm excited. I'm really excited. I know the wife is excited. Woo! Well, <laughs> she is doing uh, cookie orders right now. Yes. But as you can look, the truck is getting a little bit uh, getting a little bit empty. It's almost time for another pickup, huh babe? <laughs> a cookie pickup? Yeah. Or a bigger pickup truck? <laughs> No, another cookie pickup because your truck's not as full of cookies. No, we're as it out. Is. Yes, but she's excited because today we are installing this locker down automotive console safe for her 2019 Ram 1500. This is a must, guys. This is a must for anyone who has a new truck, old truck. They make vehicle specific console safes for your firearms, personal belongings, anything you want to keep secure on a temporary basis i don't you know recommend keeping it as a permanent solution but if you have to lock something up for a limited time period this is the way to go these guys are top notch they support law enforcement they support our channel and we're going to do this install today and this safe that we're installing today has their eye lock it's an electronic locking mechanism versus like the four digit combo seven sided tubular key and the key lock, we opted for the iLock. So very, very, very good product that these guys have. Highly recommend them. Again, they support us and we're, we're excited. The wife is definitely excited to install this and her 2019 Ram 1500 Rebel. After she gets done dealing with all this right here. How pumped are you? I'm pumped. <laughs> transition inside the house because of course right when I was done counting cookies it started to rain so let's open this box here let's do it Sorry. should cut away from your stuff should cut away all right we got our packing slip a motorama oh yeah cool perfect sweet <sighs> oh look at it it's so cute it's so cute <laughs> Very there she cool. is. Very cool. It's pretty heavy. So the bottoms, there's no metal going across the bottom because unlike the Beast, the 2500, the center console on these new uh, fifth gen Rams is a lot smaller. So, you know, it's going to encompass you know, the current console that's in the truck now. But we're going to get this installed. What do you think? Man, look at that gauge of that steel, guys. I mean, it's it's pretty heavy. Look at the white. <laughs> even even being smaller than the one in the beast um it's, it's definitely very heavy definitely high quality high speed as i like to say good stuff made in the good old usa and then we went with the eye lock option so you got your electronic lock and um well we'll read the instructions because last time if i remember correctly we had a little bit of difficulty with this lock because i didn't read the instructions so let's get this thing installed guys let's do her yeah so that's what you guys that's what you'll get you get your instruction packet you get your safe nicely packaged by the way very nicely packaged not no scratches no damage no decent high quality stuff guys can't go wrong with locker down no <laughs> first step they suggest is to install your safe with it already unlocked and the door open, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to set my code now. <laughs> All right, my combo set. Boop. You're gonna open up your console. You're gonna make sure that everything is cleared out of your console. My little air scent. We'll move that. <laughs> I had that, tissues in there. Tissues. I'm gonna slide this all the way forward. All the way forward. <laughs> All right, and then I know that this is gonna sound a little bit crazy, but inside here, it says to remove the plastic tabs off the sides. And I know it's gonna sound really crazy, but it's these tabs here that are on the side. The wall is this. These little locking tabs lock this little plate up. We'll be removing that plate in the next step, but we're gonna have to take these things out. And really the only way to take them out is to break them. So we're gonna be breaking them right about now. So we got our trusty snap-on light and we're gonna put that down in there. We got this slid all the way forward 
And I'm gonna attempt to pry on this side tab to get it out. Oh Lord. Okay, it's broken. Can't believe we're breaking a brand new truck. Um, I'm All glad right, so, you're doing that part. So that side's done. So again, we're just gonna, I'm gonna pry down on this a little bit. Sorry guys, his big hands are in the way and it's dark down there. This, this seems sacrilegious doing this to a brand new truck. Oh, I can't believe we just did that. But these are the side clips, guys. You're gonna have to take them out and you're gonna have to break them out. There's no, there's no other way around it. Now with them out, we're gonna remove the plastic separator and that just simply pops right out. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's got all the generations of uh, Ram trucks on there. You got your first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen. Where's I'm gonna the... sign that and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna eBay that off. <laughs> but yeah, if you see that, we're removing that. Remove this rubber. We're gonna remove this for now, but what I'm gonna do is cut this rubber lining pad and make it stop at the safe. Cause I don't want my wife to lose the whole rubber pad. <laughs> the whole rubber pad to the bottom of her center console. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull that rubber pad for now and get it out of the way. Just gonna roll this sucker up. Slide the tray forward a little bit. Slide the tray forward a little bit more. So that comes out. Next step is to put the safe in the console. All right. I'm gonna you can tell the way it goes in by the shape. I, uh, I have very weak forearms. Oh, would you just look at it? She fits like a glove, you guys. Now close the lid so they can see it. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, wow. I see. I like that. I was in my head even though it's kind of silly because it says max fill line. I, for whatever reason, thought it was going to like be huge and take up so much room, but it doesn't. That's like perfect. That's more than perfect. I am pleasantly pleased. It's all that good engineering from Lockerdale. I know. I don't know why I should have expected, you know, nothing less than the best. <laughs> all right. Oh, I like. Now that it's in there, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to attach it with the enclosed screws that it comes with. And they're those, called tapping screws. They're self tappers, guys. It's so easy, Hetty could have done it. I mean, I'm glad I have Steven, but I could have done this by myself. <laughs> All right, guys, it comes with two long self tappers, two short self tappers, and the only way that you're gonna get in there is by hand. So if you can see the system that we got going on here right now, we're using the short guys on the back of the safe bringing it nice and tight up against it. Focus. Sorry guys, that's just, <laughs> there it is, but well, for a second. <laughs> we couldn't fit the impact in there. Yo, teamwork is making the dream work and I have to take full responsibility for this because I said I could do it by myself. <laughs> All right. And that is false. <laughs> so one screw in, two, two short ones on the back, and you're gonna use the two longer ones up front here on the bottom of the safe. We are almost there, guys. We are almost there. Let's do the other one on the back real quick. See if you can see the difference. See if it'll focus. Yep. All right. I'm scared to move if it's on there. Yep. They're pretty good self tapper, so. As soon as you just apply a little bit of pressure and start turning, you're good to go. You're doing a good job. <laughs> My arm's getting tired. It's this really awkward spot. Get your hands in there. You can do it, put your back into it. <sighs> Those two are done. And the two front ones are gonna be much easier. We got the impact for them. I really like your hat. I just not took the industry of one of the new ones on. Yeah. All 
That one's gonna go down some more. Well, it's official. Your safe is in, babe. Woohoo! And just one more time, reiterate that the four screws that come, your two smaller ones, you definitely wanna put in the back, and then the two larger ones will go in the front. There you go. I love it, and thank you so much, Locker Down made in the US of A. Now my Girl Scout cookie money's gonna be all safe like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you're good. You're good. Oh, very yes. good, very good option for some temporary holding. Again, being in law enforcement, I don't recommend you keeping your valuables and your gun and what have you in your car 24 seven. But if you need something for a temporary uh, securing location, this is this is the ticket. This is the bee's knees, as my buddy over at Chester County Transmissions, Andy, would say. This is this is something you'd want, and it's such a great company to work with. Locker Down. They've been a long time supporter of the channel. They offer a discount code for our subscribers, ten percent off these safes. That information's always in the video descriptions. It's on our website, rambeastprojects.com. Always important stuff in the video descriptions. If you guys are interested in this safe, I'll have a link to this specific safe in this video description as well. Definitely reach out to Locker Down for your multiple different types of safes for multiple varieties of vehicles. I know the older, the fourth gen Rams, they have a, a long gun safe that goes underneath the rear seat. Um, ran into some issues with uh, the fifth gens because they changed everything around. Yeah. As you can imagine, this safe's completely different than the one I have in my truck, um, size-wise, because the console is completely different. So they're always working on it. They're always making more options. I think they're coming up with something for the little storage spots uh, on the floorboards of these newer vehicles. So, but yeah, definitely love their product. Check Made them out, the guys. USA too. And then we're going to cut this real quick and put it right back into the center console. I need a razor blade to open my new razor blades. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't realize that's what you were doing. Yeah, because I want something sharp. I don't want to use something dull to cut this. I want to make it as straight as possible for my wife's Ram Rebel, aka Mini Beast or Beastette. Have you decided what you're going to name the Ram yet? Um, I don't like Beastette. No? No. And then I saw one of um your subscribers suggested She Beast. She Beast? What, um, what are your thoughts on She Beast? I mean, that, that kind of was cool. Yeah. But I think he said that there is like a YouTube channel of She Beast. Oh, there is? I think he said that. All right. So It's a mini beast, I guess. So right here, guys, you got a nice line. Oh, I guess I should show that. Yeah. I'm going to cut it right at that line just to make it straight as possible. And you, I mean, you don't have to reuse this. You can, you know, like they said, you can just toss it out. But I, I didn't want my, my I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want my wife to lose this. Cause well, we all know she ain't that classy. That's messed up. Uh, she's classy guys. She's classy. I've been just, you know, a little added protection for inside the truck. So. I do have my moments though. Let's go reinstall this right now. Just clean up some fine debris before we reinstall. Because I'm classy. <laughs> What's cool, guys, with this safe, you still have the functionality of this, this tray that slides back and forth. Slides right over top of the safe. Perfect fit. Let's see if my cut job is gonna work. Oh, I would say that's a perfect fit. I say so too. <laughs> would you just look at it? Very nice. Cool. It's all nice look. It's perfect. I'm gonna feel with my hands, guys. Yeah, it comes right up just before the safe. Perfect fit. I'm excited. Now you got your safe. I have another mod done yes. to the Rebel. She was very, very excited to do this install, guys. I couldn't wait any longer. It's raining outside. We're out here installing this safe so you guys can see it and check this thing out because this is going to be a hot item for your fifth gen rams definitely definitely gonna have to get one of these all ram trucks should have this that's for sure so cool locker down actually sells these magnets as well that you can mount 
your firearm too. So you can stick it on the inside of the safe so it's not bouncing around. Um, I usually put mine because it's only going to be in a temporary. I leave mine in the holster and just put it right inside the safe. So I just discovered something. The, uh, the truck has a light that shines into the console. It's like, ah, locker down safe. Ah. <laughs> How perfect is that though? It shines legit right on top of the keypad. Ah. Locker down playing that. Yeah, they did. They playing that. Yes, they did. First day with my new locker down safe and I'm gonna put it to good use. I just got done boxing up some more orders for our cookies. And typically I just kind of, I have a ridiculous system of how I keep things in check. Um, and as a police wife, I think I know to make myself a little bit safer and not be a victim, but I didn't really do a good job of that until today. So we got some errands that we're going to do. We're gonna take the hub some lunch, but we're gonna keep our cookie bunny safe. And how are we gonna do that? Guys, you already know. All right, now I'm a re responsible cookie mom. Let's go do our errands. We'll go take hubby some lunch. We'll go drop off some more cookies, get some more cash, and we're gonna take that to the bank so that I'm not holding on to it while I'm in Disney. Quick question. What? Since we just did a cookie deal, and I got cookie money, and we're going to see Toots and Bill, where, where should I put the money to keep it safe? Oh, I have an idea. Here, get it. No, that's not safe. What? Where should I put the cookies so that they're like safe? <laughs> Get that money from under the seat. We don't keep money there. Well, I keep my iPad there. What? Not anymore. We're gonna keep it in the locker down. Oh, we are? Yeah. Hey, that's only one. Where's the other one? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's so cool. What no. did you say? That's so cool. That is so cool. And guess what? What? Now our cookie money. It's nice and safe. No one can get it. All right. Seatbelt's on. Let's go see Toots and Bill. No, my seatbelt's not on. What? No, get your seatbelt on. Let's you go said seatbelt on. on. <laughs> what I deal with every I, I day. I see my friends over there, Mama. One more day of school, and then where are you going? Mickey Mouse. To see Mickey Mouse. Woo -woo. All right, guys, that concludes today's <laughs> video. If you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway your first time stopping by what should they do smash that, subscribe button. smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified of all our videos like steve says freaking airplane <laughs> that's what we'll be on them saturday yeah we're gonna be on that on saturday like steve well, said all of the all. information that we have is down below if you have any questions <laughs> love you guys bye